to your reading. How are you? I hope you are well. So, Gemini, what we're going to do here, this is going to be a reading for the beginning of February, okay? I'm going to be doing love readings for the month of February. So, we're just going to look into what Spirit wants us to know about how your person is thinking and feeling about you, right? We're just going to pull different cards. We're going to see what comes out. We're going to get a guidance card at the end. There will be extended for this reading. From the night, it's going to be an 18 plus reading. I'll talk about what that 18 plus reading is going to entail at the end of the reading. All right, so here we go. Gemini, I forgot to mention, hello, my name is Jess from Capella Wellness, if you don't know me already. And if you're new, welcome. Thank you for being here. If you're returning, thank you so much for your loyalty. If you haven't subscribed yet and you've been watching my content, go ahead and put your positive energy in supporting this channel. Um, so, Gemini, we're gonna see how your person is thinking and feeling about you. Holy Spirit, Archangels, Galactic Families, Queen and Syrians, please and thank you. Thank you for your wisdom, your guidance, your support, and your clarity. Uh, what is Gemini's person thinking and feeling about them? What can you tell us, please? Holy Spirit. Thank you. Ah, I was thinking about this one. Oh my goodness gracious. So if you've watched me before, my wonderful stand broke, so I do not have a stand just yet. I need to fix it. So, we have the Two of Spades, which is the Two of Swords. I am reading this like tarot. I know these are playing cards and people say you don't read them like it, but my guides have asked me to read them in that manner. So we have, I love you when you give me hugs. Of course, some of the other signs got this and I can't remember. You have the Joker card, love is when he is the perfect one. Okay. We have the Queen of Cups. I love you because you're all I need. You could be dealing with the Cancer Scorpio Pisces, or they have that in their chart, you have that in their chart. Wow, the 10 of Diamonds, the 10 of Pentacles, love is home. I'm hearing they. you feel like home to them with that tree there. I'm hearing the love has grown quite a bit between the two of you. It's been maybe 10 years, almost 10 years, <clears throat> it's like over time there is, the bond has gotten stronger is what I'm hearing and the last card here is five of clubs the five of wands you are beautiful to me okay alright the bottom of the deck Gemini is the ten of wands Ten of Wands seems to be coming up a lot for me this week. You are the last thing I think of each night. I know exactly what this is. Look at this picture, the Ten of Wands. There's a picture of his person on the phone. And he's sleeping there. And look at his face. His hand is there because she's not there. So there's like this missing energy. <clears throat> and with this Ten of Wands, the underlying energy here, Gemini, this, this person has been really burdened by the fact that you're not there. You're not next to them. Um, apparently, what I'm getting from this card here is that they watch your videos. If you sent them videos, they read your text messages. They look at your photos. Like It's like every night. They watch something of you. Or maybe if you have a YouTube channel or have Instagram or have TikTok or something, it's like the last thing that they do before to go to bed, yes, they think about you, but they're literally watching you, okay? It's like a sleeping mechanism for them is what I'm hearing, that's kind of weird. They're telling me that um, it helps them to deal with the pressures of life because this person has been underneath some stress. There's been a lot going on. They're having a lot to do. Maybe they're preparing for something. Maybe they're preparing for a move or there's a lot going on at work. It could be all the above. They could be a single parent and they have a lot of responsibilities for their kids or something like that or their child. So at the end of the day, they're trying to decompress and I'm getting this feeling that this person just says, okay, I know I'll feel better at the end of my day. I get to spend some time with my person, but not physically, even though they're really missing you to have you physically there. But this is a way of comforting them. I'm hearing again, like a sleeping mechanism, something of, of a comfort before they go to bed. 
There's something about you, it's a song by Love of 42, 32, 42, 42. Love of 42. There's something about you that puts him at ease, okay? So they're like, I have to watch her or him before I go to bed. Whether it's the picture or the text message or the video, whatever, okay? Or all of the above. And it makes them miss you quite a bit. <clears throat> And it helps them to kind of unwind at the end of the day. Because they know after everything is said and done, the hustle bustle of whatever it is that they're doing in life, they come home, they get ready for bed, they actually get excited because nobody's calling them, they're not at work, their kids aren't bothering them, they don't have to do anything else. And this is their time to spend with you. But I know for a lot of you, they're not spending their time with you with the physical. But it's helping them. And they're starting to realize that they can't keep doing this anymore. Where again, you see his hand, he's like, she's not there, he's not there. I need to do something about this. They miss you quite a bit. I feel that very strongly. Five of Cups is not here, but I feel it. Um, and as that card says, you're the last thing. But you're also the one person that they go to to help wash away the stresses of the day. And what they're getting here from is like, I can't just keep doing this where I'm looking at them on the phone or whatever. I want them physically here. Cause it's kind of like this person wants to kind of not dump everything on you, but they just want to just wind down and have you there because again, you bring this sense of peace to them. You bring this sense of ease. You help them to deal with all the things that go on in their life here. I mean, we, uh, we're we looking at the Queen of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles here. Like I said, you feel like home. You make them feel stable. It's like you make them feel like, you know, they can come home to you and all that stress goes away. Everything that they're having to do in the world that goes away, that's really big, Gemini. When you have that type of effect on someone, because there's this aura about you, there's this energy about you that's just, it, it, it dissipates so much of this angst that they may be carrying, or not angst, it's kind of like, you know, life could be tough for them, or, you know, with everything that's going on, it's like, but they're the ones who put me at their ease, right? This Queen of Cups and this Ten of Pentacles right here. Right? I love you because you're all I need. Love is hope. With that Ten of Wands there, they're kind of hoping, you know, when they finally let go of these burdens about just not really telling you how they feel because the Queen of Cups is the one who expresses how she feels. She's not afraid to be vulnerable, nor is she afraid to, to tell people how she really feels about them. And it's not just about the love. It's not just about romance. It's about letting it out like i said this person has a lot going on and they just want somebody to talk to who would listen the queen of cups listens intently she doesn't judge she's very understanding and it's like what do you want to talk about and the queen of cups will not interject she will not start throwing her stuff on to him or her like okay well what about my day blah 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 that's not what a queen of cups does she feels the stress and the burden from this person and she's saying, if he needs to dump all of this on me, that offload the weight, I'm going to be there for my person and listen. But intently and wholeheartedly here. And even if he talks for like half an hour, Gemini will listen. Now, the thing is, guys, some Geminis, the shadow side of them could be they will interject. And they'll try to like interrupt and cut them off. Be careful with that. Especially if this person's coming forward to you to, to have the floodgates open because the dam is breaking because they want to express how they feel to you. The love is so immense here, Gemini, that it has to be said. It has to be let out, okay? Um... There is something about work here. There's two tens. There's endings and beginnings here. There is something about work. They could be building a business or dealing with family life, right? Ten of, ten of diamonds, ten of pentacles. Um, 
but again, you know, you give them hope where they don't have to worry about what's going on in their life and all the responsibilities that they have. They know that with you, they can have that downtime and, and just let loose and say, you know, and feel relieved afterwards just by telling you how they feel. And I'm also getting that they've been holding in these feelings for you for quite some time, Gemini. And with that two of swords at the top here, the first card out, I love you when you give me hugs. This person's got strong Taurus in their chart. Moon rising, sun, Venus. They like physical touch too. Hence, he's like, the person's not next to me. I just want somebody to like hold me or to touch me. It's like somebody's like spooning you and then they're just like telling you everything that's gone on. Or, you know, it's like the Queen of Cups says, what's bothering you? What do you want to talk about? And But at the same time, they want to talk to you, but they kind of want either you touch them, they touch you. It's just some sort of physical feeling. Or you're hugging each other. I'm seeing a couple here where the male is on his back and the female is resting on... Oh God, I'm reminiscing about something. The female is resting on, <laughs> on his chest and they're talking. They're talking about something that's been burdening them. That's something that they, they couldn't let go of or they had a hard time letting, expressing, okay? And this is what I am seeing. This person, and look, the, the five of wands, they're hugging each other, you see? That's two pictures where they're hugging each other. What's interesting in this five of wands, guys, I know she's wearing a hat. You can't see her hair, but what God told me was something about cancer, a cancer patient. They may have a family member. They found out that they have cancer. I don't know. They found out some news about cancer. I don't know why I'm getting that. I'm not getting the sign cancer. It could be something with a cancer, but because the first thing they saw, they said, just look at this picture. I'm really getting like she's a cancer patient and, and she just has this hat on because you don't see the rest of her hair, but you are beautiful to me. It's kind of like, I don't care if you don't have hair. I don't care if you're going through this stuff. Like I'm, I'm, our love is everything. Our love is what's what makes us whole. Our love is what makes us flourish, right? It, it's that growth. It's that fertility. It's, it's that um, strength that I get with like the tree being rooted in the ground. So there's something here about whether this is something have to do with someone actually having cancer or something it could be a family member and they just want to talk to you about it because there is a lot going on with this person and they don't really have an outlet to 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 really express what's going on in their lives here but this also ties into thinking and feeling guys it's not just the romance i told you there's other things going on that this person wants to express to you not just the love they have a tremendous amount of deep feelings for you it's not just that, it's a lot of other things because of who you are that you are willing to listen to them without judgment and you won't interject and try to dump your shit onto them. And this needs, person needs some sort of physical touch. Like they like to have these deep conversations. They want to be able to let loose without anyone just like making things worse for them. And there, again, I'm seeing it, the head on the chest of the person and they're holding each other and they're just talking. Or your person's talking to you and you're just listening, right? With the Joker card, I get that this person has a very amazing sense of humor. They like to be funny. They like to make these really quirky jokes and you laugh at their jokes. This is also you, Gemini, because you guys, you're very witty and you can come up with these amazing jokes. I know like my son's double Gemini, I'm Gemini, you know, um, we like to joke around. We like to, to find the sense of humor in things in life and be funny, right? Laughter, like, releases so much stress. It releases our burdens and raises our vibration. We need to laugh a lot more in life. So this person loves the fact that you joke around too. You kind of poke fun at things that they look at as stressful or burdensome. It's like you have... You see the sense of humor. You see the humor in life, right? Somebody's having a bad day or they're stressed out and you flip it around and you make, not that you're making a joke on about them. You're finding something funny in this situation to joke about. This person I'm hearing 
Thank you for making me laugh tonight. I really appreciate it. I needed that, right? Gemini, you have the ability to help people with that stuff. It's not just with your person, it's with other people. Because Gemini is able to see that, all right? So this person saying, you know what? I can joke around Gemini and they won't get offended. Both of you have this amazing sense of humor because what I'm getting is that your person also has strong Gemini in their chart too. It could be one of the big three, uh, Sun, Moon, Rising, or, um, or Venus too, okay? Um, <clears throat> and with that two of swords there, this person needs to let this these emotions out. They want to talk about how they want to have a family with you. They want some long, stable, solid commitment. They want to build a family legacy. They want to build a business. They want to have kids with you. They want to blend families. Um, I mean, this person's going to dump a lot on you, but it's, it's heartfelt. It is coming from deep down in their heart is what I'm getting. But it's almost kind of like this person wants to share this with you, but like when you were there. They may just communicate with you somehow via text or something about this, but I'm getting that this person wants you to be physically there when they tell you this. I get that very strongly here. And they also kind of want to see your reaction. And they also kind of like, because you bring that ease to them in the physical, they know that you're going to kind of poke a little bit of a fun at it where you're going to make a joke somewhere here or there to kind of help them to be able to express more of what they're feeling because for too long they've been two of swords. They've been stuck in this indecisive mode where it's kind of like, I can't keep my head in the sand anymore. I can't keep my mouth shut about how I feel because this person wants everything with you. I mean everything. And they're like, no matter what happens to us, You know, we're going to make it through. It's a living on a prayer song by Bon Jovi. It doesn't matter if we make it or not. We got each other and that's a lot for love, right? This is how this person sees this with you. And they're trying to not worry so much about if this person already has money or has an inheritance or something, or they're, do they're very well to do, that even if they lost everything, as long as they had you next to them, you were there. You guys would make it. It's, go listen to the Bon Jovi song, Living on the Prayer. If you don't know the lyrics, if you're not clear on the lyrics, go read the lyrics. Okay. But it's like, they really, they, ha they know they need to make a decision about telling you how they feel because the love for you is just too immense to, to hold back because they want everything with you. And they're like, I gotta put an end to this with this 10 of wands. I can't, This it's, it's been stressing them out. Because for so long, Gemini, this person's just been watching you and just saying, okay, before I go to bed, I'm telling you, somebody here, they look forward to bedtime. <laughs> Because maybe this person had a hard time sleeping before and or sleepless nights like nine of swords and this person's like i can't wait for bedtime because nobody's gonna bother me and i get to spend time with my person even though they're not physically here this is how they cope with certain things with the responsibilities of life i do get for some of you your person is a single dad single mom okay or so single dad and it's kind of like, you know, if she were here, I know she'd help me out with this stuff. I know she would be able to like brighten my day even more and just allow me to just let go of what I've been holding back or just say, man, I had a long day today, this, 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 and this. And, and you would be just like, okay, just talk to me about it. And you'd listen. This is kind of interesting because I just got an epiphany about something with my own person about this. Hmm. 
there's something about maybe this person may have told you you know I'm not the type of person to kind of listen to like how your day went and you know tell me all these things because I don't I don't really you know that's not me but if your person ever said something to you about that it's because they were the ones who were in a relationship or a marriage where they just wanted someone to like cuddle with and like or or just like again it's the talking but the the hugging the talk and maybe just hugs too this person loves to hug people he loves to hug you there's something about hugging you that just it's euphoric for this person and this person needed that it's like the talking and the touching is necessary for this individual but they didn't get that before they didn't get that from their parents they didn't get that from their long-term relationship or their spouse ex-spouse or something like that and because of that they they were like well i'm not going to do that anymore because someone doesn't want to listen to me after a hard day's work and i was gonna say hard day's night by the beatles someone doesn't want to to hear me out somebody doesn't want to to be there for me and just like kind of like hold me a little bit just like give me a hug i just i just need to decompress here a lot of people have very different methods for decompressing and this person needs to not only just talk and express how he feels honestly but for someone to actually hug them and be there oh my god i'm getting uh, wow i don't mind me guys because i had a dream about something similar to this years ago and this was well before i met my counterpart now it's coming back to me it's all coming back to me now so yeah this person saying I have to be myself and, and allow myself to have that. And they realize with you, Gemini, that you're the one who can actually bring that back to them. Because they there's somebody here, especially if it's like a strong water sign, they um, they need that sort of comfort there. It's kind of like when I said cancer, the motherly type of energy that they may not have had from their own mother or, or an ex-spouse or something like that. So... We're going to see what else Spirit wants us to tell us about your person, about how they're thinking and feeling of you. There we go. Shy. Nervous or too nervous to ask you out? It takes a minute. The answer is maybe second guess. Two of swords. Being all up in their head, second guessing, overthinking. What's going to happen when I tell Gemini how I feel, especially when I want all these things with them? What, what if I... <clears throat> what happens if I tell them the truth? Because I said, somebody said things to you. I don't do this. I don't do that. I don't do the cuddling. I don't listen to how your day was. I don't. It's the opposite. Because they needed that. But they did not get that in a previous relationship. And they got burned so badly that they said, I'm turning into a robot. So I'm telling Gemini right up front, I don't do this, this, and this. It's the same thing that Christian Grey does. I don't spend, I don't stay overnight. I don't, I don't do romance. Some of you are dealing with a Christian Grey here. Okay. But look at what happened to Christian beforehand. There's always a reason why somebody acts that way nobody is ever born into this world with a hardened heart okay so and this person's gonna be like i can't keep this in anymore i have to tell gemini this is what i want in the relationship because again you make them feel that way that they can go back to being that person who wants to spoon who wants to cuddle who wants to do family things together who wants to talk about anything and everything whether it's problems or fun stuff or whatever or even the joking part of all this they need somebody with a sense of humor too because if you're dealing with somebody who's freaking serious all day every day every day it doesn't help anybody we can't adult all the time right so this person has been wanting to ask you out they've been wanting to talk to you to see you and they're like they have cold feet they hesitate and it's like maybe what if they say maybe what if they say no I don't know there's a bit of nerves here but there's also nervousness because apparently somebody's about to do something I've been getting that energy for quite a bit and it's getting stronger because the energy is getting momentum especially with the planets 
but almost all of them are out of shadow now. They've turned direct, but some are still in shadow. I believe it's still Mercury and Uranus, I think. But once they all come out of shadow, it's go time, I think. I feel it. So the other one is Chaser. Chaser in a codependent relationship, fear of abandonment issue. They're afraid of being abandoned again because they were abandoned many times before. This is why they would run away from you. So what's happening here, Gemini, is they're becoming the chaser, which is why I said with that burden, the two of swords, they, the, the, the indecisiveness, the second guessing, the overthinking this, I can't, I can't do this anymore. And every time they're about to reach out to you, they're about to say something because this is deep, Gemini, this is not easy for this person to express. Every time they try to want to tell you, they get cold feet, they retract. They delete the message. They just, the, there could be something about when they go to bed because they won't have any distractions. Oh my God, I can't. I'm realizing a lot of things in my own, my own connection with my person, guys. So at night, like I said, it's the time where they don't have to deal with their kids. They don't have to deal with work. They don't have to deal with talking to people it's like you're the they want to be able to have all that downtime to talk to you and a lot of you you spent a lot of your time talking to your person at night okay and that was mainly because they did the most thinking about you they may have come home from work and from, from or dropping off the kids or whatever it is and then after they do their thing, it's like they listen to music or they watch a movie and it reminds you of them. And they're just like thinking of you, thinking of you, thinking of you. Maybe even drinking while they're thinking of you. And then sometimes they'll drunk text you or they just say, well, you know what? Let me just go talk to them. I don't have to worry about being interrupted type thing. And they, but now they've held back on that because I'm getting, they haven't talked to you in a while. But what's happening here is this person just wants that flood of emotions to pour out to you because they can't hold it in anymore. So they're now turning from the runner to the chaser with this card. They have to stop. They're realizing I can't be afraid of abandonment anymore because they know intuitively with that Queen of Cups here that you are home to them, that, that you are understanding and compassionate and appreciative of the little things in life. You are very nurturing you are there to counsel people. You're there to listen. There's a difference between listening and hearing. And your person's like, if I can, I feel like myself, if I feel at ease, if this person makes me feel at home, why is this person not in my bed? That's what I heard. But Gemini, they also noticed that you were chasing them too much. And some of you, you stopped chasing. If you're still chasing, stop chasing, okay? Somebody's name here is Chase, or somebody's person's name is Chase. That's what I just heard. Chevy Chase has a significance for somebody. Okay, 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 I'm getting it. Chevy Chase, so here, okay guys, this is what I'm getting, so when I remember when I talk about this person at night, he this, you used to have a tendency to talk to each other because your person knew that they were gonna get interrupted. And they miss that about you. They miss kind of like reaching out to you when there's heavy burdens, when they're stressed out, when life has it's been a hard day, okay? If you've watched National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation, Chevy Chase is in that bed with his wife, right, with Ellen and they're next to each other. They're talking to each other. He's talking about the pressures, of like they're talking about Christmas. Oh my God, it's gonna be a disaster. We should have done this. We could still go on vacation over here. And, and Chevy Chase is like, no, 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 no. We're gonna be fine. But you know, they're, they're having this calm conversation, right? Even though there's a little bit of joke about your mother waxes your upper lip type of thing, you see the humor in this? Somebody has been wanting a wife or a husband like, a wife like Ellen, a husband like 
Chevy Chase's character, like um, Clark. Somebody all their life has had this 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 uh, ideal picture of what a marriage should be, and he didn't get that. He didn't see that in his own gr growing up. He didn't see that in his own marriage or own relationship. Again, Ten of Pentacles, the Queen of Cups. This person wants someone to feel like home. And Ellie was always very supportive of him, right? And how she called him Sparky. Like when she calls him Sparky, it like it touches me here because, and he knows that that is the only word for him and nobody else. There's this bond between the two of them and your person's kind of like, I want that. This person's always wanted a marriage like that, a relationship like that, and he sees that with a lot of you. It's not all of you. I'm not gonna lie, but it's quite a few of you where your person sees that about you. No matter what's going on, right? Because Ellen always takes him aside, hey, you know, Sparky, Clark, what's going on? Let's talk about this. There's no arguing, there's no belittling. She listens and she supports him as much as possible. But she also, she also is honest with him. That's important. That's kind of crazy. So this person knows that they have to stop being so shy and, and, and talking to you and revealing their deep feelings for you or telling you what it is that they want with you and, and just to stop getting out of their head. This person has strong Gemini in their chart, hence the overthinking and the second guessing and the kind of like avoiding the truth. Like, I know I need to talk, but I, I don't know. I don't know what if they say no. What if they say maybe? It's like, what do I do with a maybe? They're getting nervous because they're about to chase now. They're about to come after you. And look what's at the bottom of the deck, it's cheers. New beginnings, anniversary, milestone, date, celebration, meeting new people, and happiness. There may be an anniversary of something coming up between the two of you. Maybe an anniversary of where you uh, where you parted ways or you last talked to each other. Maybe so somebody keeps close tabs on dates about when you last talked to each other, when you last saw each other. Okay? Could be you two. Could be both of you. <clears throat> But see about the date. Too nervous to ask you out. The date's right here. This is Three of Cups energy. They want to meet up with you. They, they want to celebrate. They want to talk about their future. They want a new beginning with you. There's also some sort of like, somebody wanted to ask you out, like, or ask you to be their date on New Year's last year or something, and they didn't have the courage to do it. Something like that. Um, they don't want to meet new people anymore. They they know that you're their happiness. It's kind of like this person. It's they're they're getting ready. Again, the ten of wands. The burden's too great. They can't just like be nervous about this and not do anything about it. Because this is essentially what they want with you. They they. It's not just dating you. Because I'm I'm getting is that. They want an outing with you to talk and to do something fun to kind of kickstart off something on the right foot this time around, okay? So, yeah, it's kind of like, so what's also kind of, they're nervous to ask you because they think there's competition, all right? They think there's somebody else, the other woman, the other man, they're thinking there's somebody else there. There's also trying to get over the the past about someone who was a snake to them. Someone who deceived them. Someone who was sneaky. Okay. So let's see what else we have. What else? How else is Gemini's person thinking and feeling about them? Holy Spirit, Archangels, Galactic Families, pretty serious. Please and thank you. Thank you for your wisdom, your guidance, your support, your clarity. There's a good chance for somebody here, Gemini, that your person may very well watch my readings. <clears throat> and they watch them before they go to bed. 
girl with popcorn. It's, it's like, I was gonna say, it's like movie night for them and look what comes out. I, I said girl with popcorn and my guide said movie night. It's like a movie night for them. Oh, getting ready for bed. Let's go watch Jess's readings or it, let's go watch Gemini. It could be both, whatever it is, but that's what I'm picking up on. Going out, excess, escapism, little regard for consequence, creating a mess, not paying attention. See about going out, okay? There's the going out energy again, but there's a different energy here. And I did say, maybe they do get popcorn when they when they watch you on social media or they, they watch a video of yours or something like that, or even reading your text messages, who knows? But, because the wicked card is down here, mischievous, naughty, harmful, dangerous, false betrayal, lie, cheat, beware. Okay. Someone has created a big mess by lying about what they've been doing, how they feel about you, about portraying themselves as somebody else, because there's false betrayal and lie here. The beware type of thing. Someone who's being a little bit mischievous. Is that how you pronounce that word? Mischievous? Somebody knows. Um, what I'm getting very strongly here is that this creating a mess, little regard for consequence, not paying attention, escapism and excess. I'm hearing that this person had created a mess by not understanding the consequences of their actions for not telling you the truth and portraying themselves as someone else. You may have felt that they were coming in as somebody else and they kept denying it and denying it and denying it and your intuition was on point and they had little regard for consequence because every time they came in, they wanted to ask you out. They wanted to meet up with you because they got into chaser mode and then they went back because of the second guessing. They second guess what they were feeling and they retracted it. They came in to try to get, like ask you and then they pulled back. But then they ended up coming in as somebody else to try to get more information from you. They weren't really paying close attention to what they were doing, let alone what you were saying to them, let alone trusting their intuition. <coughs> So it looks like they created a big mess with regards to personifying themselves, personification, right? It, it's, it's, um, I'm getting like different accounts. Um, pretending to be someone that they're not and you may have caught them about it and they lied to you about it. And now this person's like, oh my God, what did I just do? I did it again. I did this in excess. And then they went to run away. It's like they escaped the idol. What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? That's what I'm getting from this. Okay. The top of the deck is a sweetheart card. Romance, infatuated, want you back, courting a gentleman, a surprise, treating you well. I'm sorry. What is all this about? I'm sorry that I created this mess. I'm sorry that I told you I didn't want this, 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 and this when it's really what I wanted. I'm sorry that I, I didn't answer your texts. I'm sorry that, you know, all this stuff. But this person was going through a lot. That's the thing, Gemini. They, they weren't fully understanding the consequences of their actions and they've learned some hard lessons with this. Again, the romance, they wanna court you, but it's not just about the romance, guys. This person wants it all with you. This is gonna come as a surprise, probably to some of you, others of you who have strong intuition, it won't be a surprise to you because you already know. That could be giving you flowers. It's like, I want you back. I'm seeing, hearing that in sing song. 
if you start seeing that song pop up everywhere, you hear it at Target or somewhere, Publix, supermarket, Kroger, Wegmans, it's it's a it's a confirmation of this reading. <laughs> okay? Or the Jackson 5 song, Want You Back. There's that too. They now know that they need to treat you better. It's just that this person got caught up in a lot of stuff what happened in their past relationships. And then they started to realize what was done to them, they were doing to you. Not paying attention. Okay. But they, they're they like, you know what? I, I have to do the right thing. And I want to express to you, like, you know, how I really feel. And I'm, I want to apologize to you for what I did because I created a mess, right? This person just kept running away and running away and then they tried to fix it and they just like backed out, backed out. It was two of swords all the time with this person and it just made it worse. And that 10 of wands, it's too heavy for them to bear. The weight is so much that it's like, I cannot keep doing this. I'm about to explode. I'm on the brink of collapse. If I don't say something now, if I don't talk to them about what's been going on, if I am not releasing my truth, expressing my truth, it's just going to really get even more worse. And that's gonna to be too much for them to bear. And look what's after the sweetheart card. It's the groom card. Husband, partner, interested in a commitment or advancement, love of a lifetime, wedding or event. Go, maybe asking you out to a wedding or asking you to marry them. They see you as marriage material. They want to be your husband. Now, don't get, even if you're female here, right? There's same sex couples, it's fine. They want a commitment. They want to commit to you. They want 10 of Pentacles. We're talking about marriage, the whole shebang. They want it all. We want it all with you, Gemini. Um, this person's been having a hard time with that, and they're like realizing, oh my gosh, this is like the person I could ever want. It's like having the Ellen or the Clark in their life, right? <laughs> if you watched that movie, I'm saying that because some of you are familiar with that movie. So we're gonna see how else your person is thinking and feeling about you. What else is Gemini's person thinking and feeling about them? I'm getting very strongly, and it's funny because my son made some comment about this. It's like your person is planning or they're trying to do something for you for Valentine's Day. And maybe they've been wanting to do something for Valentine's Day for quite some time and they back out, they get cold feet because of the two of swords, because of the nervous maybe energy. But they're realizing they've got to do something. Now, don't get on me if nothing happens on Valentine's Day, right? Because maybe some of you are rolling your eyes, but I have, you know, I'm feeling it. It could very well be for one person here where something happens on Valentine's Day, right? So we'll see what else comes out. How else is Gemini's person feeling and thinking about them? But yeah, they want you back, Gemini. But this person has been through quite a bit. We gotta remember that when people do certain things, we have to understand that we have to have a better idea as to what it is that they're going through. If you, a lot of you, I'm pretty sure have watched Fifty Shades of Grey. You already know how that story goes. He acted that way because of his past, because of what was done to him. And he even didn't really have motherly love. That's a huge issue, especially for males. And Anna was trying to figure him out, but she knew. She broke that barrier. She was very understanding. She wanted to understand why. He was the way he was. And she didn't like, she didn't succumb to, you know, solely what he wanted all the time. She stood in her feminine power. And look what she gets in the end. And look at who becomes later. 
the love, the unconditional love for him, the non-judgment, the understanding, it changed him for the better. He ended up becoming who she always saw who he was. That's a powerful message in that story. Okay, so we have calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. You're calling your person in. <clears throat> and your person's calling you in too. You're manifesting each other. Okay? Let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. Your person's getting a lot of help from their friends. Maybe some family members, but more so friends who are very supportive of them because they've told some reliable friends about you. And with the creating the mess thing, they're like, shit, man, how am I going to come out of this mess? That, how am I going to clean up this mess that I made? And some of their friends are like, dude, you're just going to have to say something. You have to tell the truth. You're going to have to do something about it. You can't keep going on like this. <laughs> That's what I'm hearing. And also for you, Gemini, you're being asked to allow other people to kind of help you through this. Because maybe some of you guys, this is you. You're having a hard time with this. And you keep reminiscing about your person at night. And you long for them. You're yearning for them. But remember, yearning pushes your person away. You need to call in your soulmate, not push him away. But it looks like you guys are going to be brought together. You're, what it says, prayers, affirmations... It's those of you who have been praying a lot, praying for years about your union here, you coming together, it's working, guys. Prayer is a huge thing. It works. But only God will have it happen in this time. So your person is getting a lot of help from friends here. Because they're like, dude, you got to stop second guessing. You got to, you got it. You're going to be okay. If, if this person makes you feel like this, if you know this is your person, then why not go after that person? Reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. There it is. This person wants to reconcile with you. They're getting a lot of help from their friends to come forward, to reunite with you, to reconcile with you. Because remember, I said they created a big mess. They lied too much. They all these false portrayals. They, it just one big thing after another, and they they made something. It's not just a clean up on aisle nine. The whole freaking store is like a mess. <laughs> you guys have past lives together. It's the six of cups energy. they're getting a lot of help from people to come forward to reconcile with you. Be like, again, the sweetheart card. I'm sorry. This is not easy for this person to do. It's not. We can't judge these people. Because if we're judging and we're not a divine feminine, if we're not divine feminine, then how are we going to expect divine union to happen? Divine union ties into the love of a lifetime. If you want to go back to the groom card, it says love of a lifetime down there. That's true love, guys. If you're judging this person and you're like, oh, hell no, I'm not taking them back, especially if they start admitting that they lied and they cheated and they, they, they were... were falsifying themselves as somebody else and, and, and all this stuff and look what they did you're not ready yet you're just not ready yet true love is understanding it's kind it's patient it's challenging you accept the person for their flaws that's what true love is you can't give that to this person how do you expect that to give them that how do you expect them to give that to you okay and the bottom of the deck is the other Six of Cups card. For me, soulmate. Or the lover's card. Yes, this is your soulmate. Or Two of Cups. This is your person, Gemini. But I'm getting you guys are... Your more counterparts. The whole twin flame thing. But this is your person. This is the person you're supposed to be with. 
now for a smaller group of you you could be like reconnecting with like a soulmate who's like a brother a son a daughter a mother or father okay something like that's for a smaller group of you again take it how it resonates but this person knows that you're the one for them right if you look at the other cards again calling in the soulmate 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 Look what's underneath this playfulness. See, to recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. This is you just going back to being flirtatious. The joking energy. Just going, because some of you, you were very jokey and having a lot of fun and just being yourselves and, and not caring about what, what the other one's thinking until, you know, it got really challenging later. You got to bring more fun back into the connection here. Religious factors is at the top. Your love life is influenced by religious upbringing and spiritual past. This is the whole twin flame thing right here. This person was hung up on uh, religion. Um, they grew up in a very strong, like very strict religious family. Okay. They had all these misconceptions about marriage and about what a soulmate is probably or like who you're supposed to marry or that type of thing like things like that okay so um the religious beliefs really tripped this person up because when they met you all of that went out the window with regards to their religious beliefs is what i'm saying kind of like the hierophant card um so, I'm also getting an energy of somebody was married by like a religious leader or a, like a Catholic church, Presbyterian church, Baptist church. Hey, I'm going to throw it out there. Temple. Um, mosque. Um, and it was like, that's not the marriage that I thought it would be. And then you come along and you kind of, like I said, you throw everything out the window. Everything this person thought to, thought about religion, marriage, it just, whoosh, it went out the, the window. And they do want marriage with you, but this is going to be very, very different. So before we get to the extended, guys, and the link for the extended is in the description box below, we're going to pull a guidance card, okay, to close out this reading. Now, the extended is going to entail what your person is healing sexually. And we're going to get some very, very dirty messages from them. And I mean, these decks are dirty. If you've seen my other readings last week, you know what they look like, okay? And um, we're going to talk about what's happening next in your connection. And after that, we're going to get messages from your person, okay? Only time will tell. Divine timing. have this woman in the back with blue eyes you may look like this person you may have blue eyes your person may have blue eyes okay the bottom of the deck is let there be closeness between you but always give each other space love never claims it simply allows it gives give and take guys right if you look at the Griswold marriage. There's give and take there, right? Nobody's claiming anything over the other. You give and you take. That's how a very solid, harmonious relationship works. That's how a counterpart connection, twin flame connection is supposed to work. You have the closeness between each other and you give each other the space. Because both of you are going to need that space. I know for me, I need my space. My son needs his space. I got moon in Aquarius. I need to detach. And I will totally respect anybody else who needs their space. Like I respect my son's space. Anybody else's space. My person's space. You want to be by yourself? Sure. We can do the cuddling, we can do the talking, we can spend the time together, but if you need to go handle this on your own, or you need to go hang out with your friends or whatever, you want to go out for a walk by yourself, 
If that's what feels be what's best for you, do that. We have to allow our our, our partners, especially, that space. We, we can't be clingy, guys. We can't be chasing, chasing, chasing abandonment issues. No, you can't leave me. You gotta be here. That's codependency, guys. You need to be interdependent of that person. Top of the deck is romance. Cupid's arrow strikes. I mean, it's coming in for some of you who are in alignment with it. When it comes to matters of the heart, there is no right or wrong. Every choice you make expands your understanding of life and love. Okay. So there we have it. Okay, guys. I'm going to move on to the extended. So I hope I catch you there. The link is in the description box below. If you have any issues with access, accessing it, please let me know. That link down there takes you to the website. If you download the mobile app, okay, you can access the extended readings in the mobile app too. The mobile app is free if you wanna watch it on your phone instead, okay? Um, but the link there will take you to the mobile web as opposed to the app. Um, but if you do want to download the app, it should give you a code or you should have part of a link to download that app. That way you can watch the extended readings on the app, okay? All right, guys. If I don't see you in the extended, this is where I leave you. Thank you so much for watching this video, for subscribing to this channel if you haven't already, and for illuminating that thumbs up button. I greatly appreciate it. I wish you the best today. Always I send you so, so much love, and I hope... I illuminated your well-being today. Again, this is Jess from Capella Wellness, starring out.